Oh my goodness, the meltdowns from the left so far have been amazing. You guys have got to check these out. Trump's policies on the economy would be better for your family, personally. <laughs> Here you go. Pretty simple. Uh, Kamala Harris was destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, here's another meme. Just for fun. Why not? Elon Musk just posted this meme. <laughs> Let that sink into the Oval Office. Whew. Remember how uh, Joe Biden and the regime wouldn't invite Elon Musk to the electric vehicle summit, even though he invented the electric vehicle? Yeah, uh, this one's going to sting. Here we go, baby. But what would a night like tonight with Donald Trump winning in a landslide victory? Donald Trump at 286. Donald Trump will get 300 electoral votes. OK, when it's all said and done here in Michigan and in Arizona. What would tonight be without some left wing meltdowns? Because, you know, you know, we got to go there. You know it. Ooh, baby. You, I mean, you can see, you can see it. You can see it on their face. Look at this. Look at this expression. <laughs> <laughs> Just the photos are enough. Just the photos are like, ah, it's demonic. Oh, baby. Yeah. It's it, 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 it was a night. It was a real one for libs and their salty, salty tears. They filled our cups. Here we go. Trump's actually going to win this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so pissed off. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> dude, in a white, is he in a white dude's for hair shirt? <laughs> when J.D. Vance was on Joe Rogan, he was saying how there were studies that showed a link. The more testosterone that a man had, the more likely they are to be conservative. And I believe this would be exhibit A. This guy looks like he hasn't gotten out of that chair in 10 years, except to pick up some Fig Newtons. Like, this dude needs to get his priorities in order. He should be thanking him, because now RFK is in charge of the FDA, and he's not going to be poisoned. Perfect. It's perfect. Hang it in the hang it in the simp Louvre. Hang it in um, the cuck Louvre, where Destiny belongs. Destiny is a left wing streamer. Uh, Destiny was live on his stream, screaming that he needed to get on the phone with who was ever in charge of Pennsylvania vote counting. Yeah. I mean, they're Steve still Manalysis. outstanding. Are they not counting them here? What's going on, Vadim? There you go. I mean, I am. <laughs> Why isn't Philadelphia counting votes? Call him up. Call, call him. Do we have contact? Hello, if you're watching the stream right now and you work in Philadelphia, we'll put you on stream. I'll call you. I want to know what the f What is going on? What the hell is going on right now? Send me pictures. I know you're out there. I know somebody's listening. Mm. Wow. It's almost like, um, I don't know, there's some sweet karma when you uh, disgrace Corey Confrontor and say that he deserved to die. This is, I mean... The, the fact that Destiny keeps getting booked on things after saying something like that, I'm not for cancel culture, but that is the most repulsive thing that y can be said about another human being. Corey Comprator lost his life at a MAGA rally at, in Pennsylvania. Destiny is a sick uh, degenerate. And um, I'm so happy for your tears, your salty, salty tears. Uh, they they inspire me, in fact. Shut up. Take the microphone off this dude. We won't go back. The joy's the joy's gone. Jo the joy's gone. Okay, so everybody is blackout drunk. Everyone's admitting they're blackout Ask drunk, like on TV. Observing young voters, particularly male voters, who seem to be breaking for Trump. What's, you, what's your take on that dynamic? That would be surprising. I think that's a, another reason to drink. Um, <laughs> but I do think that. I, I, I You're think drinking it's alone, pretty John. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. That, and that's fine. <laughs> this is like the version of masculinity that the left sends out to young men and then wonders why young men delivered the White House to President Trump. 
young, actually Gen Z men and millennial men delivered the White House to President Trump. And then soy filled men cried into their hands. You disgust me. You are not a man. You disgust me. This is Kamala Harris's party. Look at this. Look at this guy marched out there, teary eyed. <laughs> Lift that American flag off the ground, scum. Look at this. <laughs> there you go. There's your tears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I was surprised the American flag wasn't burned, actually. He's back. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> you have to go back. Yeah. Oh, oh it's going to be great. The Kamala Harris party party was as entertaining as you could possibly imagine. Uh, this was my favorite part of the night was the reporting out of this party and how people who attended Kamala Harris's party uh, were getting actually sick. Is still loud, but a little bit more subdued. And the word that I keep hearing, it must be some new phrase that has entered the lexicon, is the idea that people here are nauseously optimistic. Not just cautiously <laughs> optimistic, but nauseously optimistic. As much as I wanted to see the anchors on CNN, MSNBC going wild last night, I just could not possibly bear watching those networks. It was genuinely painful. And they were calling states like two hours too late. Yeah, Jake, let me just give you a gut check here about what we are hearing here uh, as we've been sitting here reporting from the Harris headquarters. And I think the operative word right now is silence. There's not a lot being said because the Harris team appears to be searching for bright spots in the map as these results very, very slowly come in. Searching for bright spots and also uh, very aware of the warning signs throughout the electorate in Virginia, in Iowa. Mmm, silence. Are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we could show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris overperforming 2020. Holy smokes. There you go. Uh, so let this go away and see if there's anything <laughs> in the east side there. Uh, literally nothing? Literally nothing. Literally not one county? Literally nothing? Actually, there's some great shots of uh, Jake Tapper in here. Look at him. <laughs> He's about to cry. Jake Tapper's ready to cry. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He was part of the coup. Jake Tapper was part of the coup to get Joe Biden to drop out. Do you guys think that these anchors on CNN, like Jake Tapper, actually support Kamala Harris? Or is somebody twisting their arm? They're being blackmailed or paid. Because I'm just sitting here wondering, how is it possible that 60 million people think Kamala Harris is the best choice for the presidency? The woman has done nothing but destroy our country for the last four years and she didn't go on any interviews. Why would we want to give this woman a promotion? It just doesn't make sense. Mm over the past couple of months. <laughs> and tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. Oh. And they were hoping that maybe this time, this time, shut one of their own could be seen as worthy. Oh, shut up. And please. once again, they're facing rejection. And that hurts. They thought tomorrow morning they're gonna walk out with their shoulders back a little bit. Maybe able to breathe for the first time and feel like they belong someplace. And it's gonna be harder than it should be tomorrow for them to hold their heads up. There was and they're a not the only president. people who are hurting tonight. If you're, a tran if you're a parent of a trans kid, your, your, your child's face was used uh, as a springboard to power for somebody. That doesn't feel good. There are gonna be people tomorrow, we're gonna to be handing clothes with the dry cleaners to people who don't have papers. There are gonna be people who are gonna be cleaning your teeth tomorrow who don't have papers. And they're terrified tonight. And so it's easy to blow this off. Oh, look at the elites. They're going to get their comeuppance. It's not the elite that's going to pay the price. It's people who woke up this morning with a dream and are going to bed with, with, with a nightmare. And those people didn't deserve to be respected and held and talked to. Those are the people who are going to pay the price for whatever Donald Trump decides to do. Oh, man. Okay. They always talk like they have the emotional superiority over all of us. They know better than us. Oh, how could you possibly do something like this? No, this was a black and white decision. This was clear as day. You need to have strong borders if you want to run a country. We cannot just allow anyone in. Nor has any country in the history of the entire world ever thrived with an open border system. So why all of a sudden is it radical to want to secure your borders? This is so daft. Just because you speak like this does not mean that you are right. 
not know who the winner is, but it is pointing in one direction. And it's not final, but I just wanted to say that Why do it for her? women tonight, primarily. Trump has insulted women, berated them, has been found liable in court for true. assaulting a woman. And he took women's reproductive rights away. And instead of standing up to that, people voted for it. With trouble. I will call for Trump, so yeah. there goes that nonsense. I'm going to, uh, like, it, I'm getting revved up here on a significant rant. So, because Kamala Harris is not winning, and the people who thought that Kamala Harris was going to win a landslide are totally wrong. <laughs> People who thought Kamala Harris was going to win in a landslide are totally wrong. Meanwhile, this is what it's called to eat crow, ladies and gentlemen. Anderson Cooper and Jake Tapper are saying this is the greatest story ever told. This is the greatest comeback in American history. And it, it is hard to think of a political comeback that is actually more significant than this one. I'm tempted to say Richard Nixon, but that really falls short uh, of what Donald Trump has achieved. Yeah, I mean, winning not just the the electoral uh, the electoral votes, uh, but the popular vote uh, a, a, as well. Yeah. When it's all said and done, what you're going to see is a huge divide mm -hmm. over people who are college educated and not college educated. And if that is the case, what is different is that you could be seeing a realignment about the base of each party. And there are warning signs for everybody here. But if the working class, non college educated voter is now be increasingly a Republican voter, Democrats have to rethink the way in which they sell their policies that absolutely benefit working class Americans and in a targeted fashion. I mean, if the Democrats wanted to fare better with young men, how about you don't talk down to them and belittle them and call them evil people for even thinking of supporting Donald Trump? What happened yesterday was a rebuke against this administration and the corrupt Washington, D.C. swamp. No longer are the special interests in charge of this country. It is the American people who hold the cards now. Yesterday will go down as one of the most pivotal days in American history. I truly believe that because if Donald Trump did not win, I would have never voted again in the presidential election. Not a chance. Elon even said himself, if Trump loses, we're never going to have another free and fair election ever again because they just import all these illegal immigrants into swing states and then it was diluting our voice and we would never be heard again. But thank God that did not happen. The air is a little bit more crisp today. I'll tell you what, it's a great day to be an American. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in this down below. And did you stay up till like 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday or did you go to bed before they called it for Trump? Let me know. I'd love to hear that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. And Wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.